could ask you to dance. And you could say, well, I don't feel like dancing. And then I could say, well, maybe some other time. <laughs> or I could just not ask. Diana, this is your future life we're talking about. But you hardly know him. He's practically a stranger. The thing is, I just know this is it. I love you, Robin. <sighs> I'm not feeling too good. I can't move what's going on. Robin, get him on a respirator. People paralyzed by polio don't last long. Can't move anything from the neck down. Can't even breathe for yourself. How do you live like this? Yes, you Stuart. I love you, and I want Jonathan to know you. You can't love this. Yes, I can. There must be something I can do. Get me out of here. Robbie's going to leave the hospital. No one with your husband's disability exists outside a hospital. Has anyone ever tried? Robin! Robin! You're right, darling. Much better. Five pounds says you'll never make it. You're on. <laughs> Darling, call Teddy. I've had an idea. A wheelchair that does his breathing for him. Are you sure it's safe? Yeah. It's worked so far. Alan, you owe me five pounds. Yummy bastard. Why do you keep your disabled people in prison? No one's believed it's possible to live as you do. Well, we should open the gates and set them free. Bloody virus. What now, up in a world tour? Wouldn't that be an adventure? When I first became paralyzed, I wanted to die. My wife told me I had to live. <laughs> See how our son grow up. Your life is my life. I don't want to just survive. I want to truly live. I think he should be in hospital. No? You're quite right. No. 